Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Wumble's Hive. We are going to do a swatch of Scrawler Box 102. So we'll just take out the things we don't want. Again, look how gorgeous that is. I am not a people person. It's not something that I paint, but I would love to be able to recreate that. So here we have paints, the paper, and the paintbrush. So I did get a paintbrush out, but we might as well have a go with the paintbrush we've been given. What do you think? So here we've got watercolour paper, eight sheets of 190 GSM CP cold press paper. Um, if I'm being truthful, I sort of don't want to waste this because it feels like really nice paper, so I'm not going to. There's no reason when you're swatching out to not just use the offcuts. So that's what we're going to do. Right, so... Hello, I handcrafted this for you, Viviva Colours. Slide that off. And again, we've got the colour pigment sheets with essentially grease proof paper between to stop them sticking together when you've used them. So we're going to swatch these out, guys. Let's have a see how many we've got. Two, four, six, eight. We've got 12. Yes, so we've got 12 of those colours. That's plenty of room on this. And we have got a number six C white, white paintbrush. So you can see there, it's a very long one. To be honest, I really like the long ones because you can get a really good colour flow going off. And so that we don't put too much water on the actual pigment sheets I will be dabbing off on a little bit of kitchen roll the sensible place to put that is right next to the water you're going to use so here we go guys the first one that we've got is ruby red which there you can see the colour and as soon as I lay it back the lights for my camera show you how metallic it's going to be so let's have a see if it's this metallic on the actual paper. We'll use this side because this is the uh, slightly toothed side. So these cards are covered in a thick layer of watercolour um, and it behaves like a pigment strip. So you just have to wet to pick up the colour. You can see just there probably this colour on the end. Lay that down as you would do with any other watercolour. And just to see how it spreads, I'm going to drop that colour and pull it out with a bit of water. That is a nice shade. I can't see the actual shimmer just yet, but that's probably going to kick in when it dries. So let's try the next colour, which is Pink Pearl. I'm going to leave a little bit of space so I can write underneath what the uh, name is. Ooh, I can actually see the shimmer in this one already. I can see it moving around. That is nice. Right, I don't know if you guys can see it. You probably can't, but I will give you a close-up towards the end there. So this is why you've got the grease proof paper in between because you can see that there's some wet spots there and the paper just flips over to stop them mixing and sticking onto the next colours which is a nice, a nice thing to put in there for us. So let's get rid of that pink before we go on to fire which I'm going to imagine is an orange gold colour. So let's try this one out oh that is nice that's like a vermilion shade but with gold metallic in it 
That is excellent. Let's pull that out a little bit. Now I'm not sure if the metallic will go all the way to the end, but if you are layering up, that wouldn't matter. But it does, it's it's showing quite a lot like quinacridone gold, so it's a really deep shade if you've got it thick. Going to a beautiful uh, sunset yellow at the end there. The next one is lava. So let's have a see what this one is. Anybody want to guess? Ooh, that is nice. That's a bit like a cad red with metallic undertones. Ooh, but it's actually pulling out with a pink effect. So it's gone peachy as I've pulled it out. So that's interesting. I'm gonna put a little bit more on at the top here. See if we can get it to bleed out a bit. Right, over to the next page. Let's have a little look what we've got next. We did flick through these before, but... Oh, it's a greens. I do like some greens. Now, I, I mostly do landscapes with the watercolour, but it might be interesting to do a fully metallic landscape just to see what happens. So this one is Jade. It looks like it's going to be quite a vivid one. Let's have a look. It is. Look at that. Superb. These colours are really, really vivid. I was not expecting this. I've never used pigment sheets before. I've only really used pans and not even um, tubes all that much to be fair guys I've, I've mainly stuck to pans I have bought tubes but I generally squeeze them out into a palette so this is definitely interesting it looks like it'll actually go quite a long way which might make it a good set I mean <laughs> you can have some sparkly paintings but it might make it quite a good set for uh, plein air work because this is just a skinny piece of cardboard you could stick in your pocket. Ooh, so emerald is a little bit like a pine green. Obviously, being me, I think about things in terms of what I'm going to paint with it. I just dropped my paintbrush on the floor like an idiot. Apologies for the straining noises you just probably heard. Oh, it's got like a gold undertone. The metallic in this one is like gold. Interesting. So that was emerald. And this one is Aurora. So let's wet this one. Ooh, turquoisey colour. You know I like a turquoisey colour. Ooh. Oh, and again, this one's got like a gold... Shimmer to it. Interesting. They've got different colour shimmers. That is going to cause some interesting effects when you're painting. Oh, I'm definitely going to do a little landscape with this. Maybe an ATC or something. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Square or rectangle? So this one is sapphire. Oh, it's a nice cobalt. Ultramarine blue. Very nice. 
that's got blue glitter in it. Excellent. And we are turning over. Oh, we are onto the full shiny effects here. I'm not sure how much this is going to show up for you guys because this next colour is silver. And having used metallics before, I know that you do use silver and gold quite a lot more just to highlight on certain areas and create different effects. And they've very kindly given us two, um, two swatches of silver and two swatches of gold. So I think that's an excellent idea. So thank you very much, Viviva. If this is as shiny as the other ones I've seen so far, which it probably will be, it's going to be excellent. It is, you guys, no way can see this just yet, but um, it is super shimmery. I have uh, bled that one out, but it's very ineffective to be fair, um, because it's, it's, it looks white, but I think if that gets put over another color, particularly a normal color, a normal watercolor, um, it's probably going to shine incredibly. So let's see what this gold's like. Oops, it's, just trying, to, it's trying to escape with us. I'll leave it like that, it's fine. Right guys, so let's slide that off to the side and we'll see if I can get this shimmering on the screen for you. So these are all the colours that we've got. It's a lovely set of colours. The shimmer does mostly go through the translucent edge as well. Obviously not as strong in the same way as the pigment isn't, um, but it does generally pull out as well. So let's see if I can... Get the shimmer to do its thing. So I'm sure you just saw it then. So in the red up here, we've got some silver, as is the pink. And then when you get to the oranges, they've both got gold in. This first green has actually got a silver shimmer to it. Two golds, a blue silver, silver itself, and gold down at the bottom. So, I think I'm going to try and create one of my little landscapes with these, just for giggles, because why not? This is basically a full set of colors. So we'll give that a go, guys. The paintbrush is lovely, it's held its shape beautifully. These paints, are very pigmented very strong and I think they're going to actually go really far so we will have a see what is going to happen with these guys what do you think so far do you like these colors do you think you'd be able to use it in what you do please let me know what you think down below I've enjoyed using them I hope you've enjoyed swatching them now go on with you find something that makes you smile and be happy